Hey everyone! Today I want to show you guys how we can use the baby uh, easy press to press on uh, a stuffed stuffed animal where it's really nice and full. So I already have my design here laid out. I'm going to check the tag of this and she is 100% polyester so we're going to quickly I'm going to pull up my iPad and I've got the Cricut Easy Press Interactive Quick Reference Guide for us. So I'm going to select my material, which is just every day. I'm going to select polyester as my base material, and I have the Cricut Easy Press Mat. So it's 315, five second preheat, um, five second preheat. Place a Cricut iron on protective sheet over it and gently press for 30 seconds. Now, because I have multiple colors and I do have multiple pieces here, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I already laid my pieces out to make sure everything fit nicely and where I wanted it to go. So I'm just going to quickly put my protective sheet over this. I already have my easy press set to 315, so I'm going to quickly press into her and I'm going to press into her for five seconds. I'm going to press her pretty flat because it's going to go ahead and make sure that I heated up the whole thing where I'm going to press. Now I'm going to just move my fibers uh, all in one direction, whatever direction you like, whatever you prefer just so that I can get this uh, all nice. I'm gonna pull my first piece up here. I'm gonna put it up. I'm just got the pink part here. And I'm going to just press this one for about a second or two so that I can um, do a full press with the whole stuffed animal at the end because I do have multiple pieces. This is going to make it much, much, much easier. So I'm going to just butt the edge of my press right up here and give a nice good press down. And because this is an odd shape, I did wrinkle this a little bit over here. So I'm going to be really, really careful. Whoops. And I'm going to place this back down. And I'm just going to press again really carefully. I'm going to just press over in the corner. Now because it's an odd shape that might happen and I'm going to quickly and carefully peel my carrier sheet here. Um, this M didn't stick very well but that's why we go over it at the end and just make sure that everything is pressed evenly. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to put down my next little layer here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover her back up and I'm going to very carefully press. And again, I notice over here, it's a little, all right, we're going to peel very carefully over on the corner here. It looks like I lost a bit of a piece. So, well, I didn't lose it. It just didn't adhere very well. So I will go ahead and I'm going to just place a small piece of my carrier sheet down. That way um, I can make sure that I get that shape here. So I'm going to very carefully flatten that out, do that, and then I can go back over it really quickly. All right. And that should have gotten it. Yep, that did it. All right, now I'm going to just place some more of my pieces here. And I like to line everything back up to how I had it. And I'm just going to do these pink pieces and then I'll go back and add my white pieces in. Um, you got to make sure that your carrier sheet is not overlapping with any other um, HTV because it will stick to it. So you want to be very careful of that part. Now because this is more on this side, I can go ahead and do this and press at an angle here. Make sure I got that. Peel my carrier sheets carefully. Always peel carefully because you never know if it went down the way you wanted it to. And then we can put 
our other pieces back up and we can just repeat this process now I do have a little piece to go in the, the flower here so because of that I will um, be very careful when layering it that's extra when you're layering you want to make sure you don't press for too long otherwise it's going to shrink up too much and you're not going to get it lined up evenly and you don't want that so let's make sure we got that again peel very slowly and carefully and we are going to go back over this at the end and give a full nice press so uh, we don't have to worry about any of this being an issue right now because we will do the final press at the end okay and now I can keep that white piece on here because no HTV is overlapping with it it's not going to cause any issues so I can leave that little piece on over there okay and press for just a second and pull up our carrier sheets okay Oh, I forgot this carrier sheet here so go back and make sure you got everything and make sure everything looks good uh, I think I have another little piece I'm gonna go grab to add on the side over here so I'll be right back okay I did a quick press and I added this little flower on the other side and now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to do my full 30 second press and again I'm going to just cover more of her than needs to be I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna press and really need gentle pressure um, I'm just going to be careful as I do it and you can kind of lift up your sheet here too and make sure that you're pressing on everything which um, I mean you can really feel underneath this that I am you can tell you have the bulk of her but you can always check to make sure and we're just going to do our 30 second press we made sure all of our carrier sheets were removed and we're just going to make sure that this HTV is really set on her. Now this is just going to be a decorative piece, so it's not going to be washed and all of that, but it's always good to make sure that uh, everything's nice and adhered on there. Okay. And you've got a cute little birth stat stuffed animal. 